The risk management of medical devices is a crucial process that must be carried out by medical device manufacturers. Risk management should be performed at each phase of the life cycle of the medical device. The phases are usually named device concept phase, design phase, manufacturing phase, and post-production phase. Risk management for medical devices should follow the ISO 14971 risk management standard. The risk management activities should start right at the medical device concept phase of the life cycle. Based on the medical device's intended use, the manufacturer of the medical device should start to identify potential risks and how these will be controlled. This could be through the application of a standard to demonstrate safety or eliminated through design. During the design phase of the product life cycle, the risk management activities should take place again. This is to ensure that the risks that were identified during the concept phase have been controlled and verified. Any new risks identified should be added to the risk documentation and control measures put in place. At this phase, any potential manufacturing risks should be considered once design transfer has taken place. Once design transfer has taken place and manufacturing processes are being developed and refined. The risk management team should verify that the potential manufacturing risks identified have been controlled and any new risks introduced from the processes have been identified and controlled. Once manufacturing processes are finalized, the risk management team should look at any residual risks that cannot be eliminated through design or manufacturing and consider their acceptability. If not acceptable, the risk management process sh should start again. Acceptable residual risks should be communicated to the device users, usually through labeling or instructions for use. Information should be generated during the post-production phase of the medical device life cycle. This information should be reviewed and analyzed for any unforeseeable risks not identified during pre-production. These identified risks should go through the risk management process. Risk management is not just a one-time event. It should be performed at regular intervals or as needed as events occur. If you like this video, then click like, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Patient Guard. Making regulation easy.